Hi. Well, I was going to do an update on the uh, inverters. As some of you know, I bought a new inverter and I, I moved it over here to um, battery charge only. It, it did not want to communicate properly with the uh, older inverters. I'm not sure why it was doing that, but we're, uh, we're going to try and figure it out, you know. In the meantime, we went ahead and uh, since we were rearranging, we got some cement board behind the inverters and uh, moved our wires around a little bit. We still got to strap some up and get them a little bit better organized, but it's not bad. It's better than it was. So, anyways, I I went ahead and uh, put a, a breaker in there, um, 200 amp type breaker, and I put a battery shut off on the negative side just, you know, that way my leads would be about the same length and everything. And hopefully everything just works the way it's supposed to. We went ahead and put some ferrules up on our Right there on our um, PV wires. And although these have both wires coming in up, I don't have my other panels hooked up yet. We only have single string coming into the bottom of the boxes. We mounted those direct onto the uh, gutter. The red ferrules are the bigger ones and they have two wires going into each of them. So my new uh, inverter is serving as a battery charger only. I mean, I, I would like for it to work with the other inverters and I am not sure why it don't want to communicate and it doesn't communicate with my uh, solar assistant so I just I just put it off to the side use it as battery charging only and use the, the three older inverters that communicate and work just fine you know this third one in was the one I was using for battery charging only and I just hooked it back up and now it provides power. So hopefully everything just runs the way it always has. But I did get that 200 amp breaker in there on my battery box. That way, if something happens, my batteries are protected. There's a lot of money in there. But I did put a shut off. That don't mean that you can shut that off and turn that on. You can shut it off, turn your ba um, turn the batteries off with that. But you need to uh, start start your batteries at the battery box because there's a capacitor in your inverters and you don't want to put too much power at, to it at once and these batteries have built-in resistors so you want to be careful how you do that so when you do you can turn it off with that switch but when you start it make sure that you start it have that turned on with these off and start it here at the here at the batteries. That way, your resistor that's built into these batteries will charge your capacitors. So 
Just wanted to make sure you guys were aware that you needed to do that. So, tried to clean up the wires a little bit. We're going to see what we can do. But we're uh, pretty happy with the way it's working now again. The, uh, yeah, that, I don't know why the new inverter is not communicating. So, anyways. I uh, 